Hey, welcome back. Cyber security professionals continually defend computer systems against different types of cyber security threats. Cyber attack hits businesses and private systems every day, and the variety of attacks has increased quickly. According to the former Cisco CEO John Chambers, there are two types of companies: one that have been hacked, and those who don't yet know they have been hacked. The motives for cyber security attacks are many. In this lesson, you will learn about different types of security threats. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's learn about data breach first. A data breach is when data is stolen and this includes personal data. Personal data means any information related to an individual that can be used to identify them directly or indirectly common security threats that can result in a breach of personal data include phishing sphere phishing tech support scams sql injection and malware designed to steal passwords or bank details let us understand about dictionary attack A dictionary attack is a type of identity attack where a hacker attempts to steal an identity by typing a large number of known passwords and each password is automatically tested against a known username. Dictionary attacks are also known as brute force attacks. The third type of attack is known as ransomware. Malware is the term used to describe malicious applications and code that can cause damage and disrupt normal use of devices. Malware can give attackers unauthorized access which allows them to use system resources and lock you out of your computer and ask for ransom. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts files and folders and preventing access to important files. Ransomware attempts to extort money from victims usually in the form of cryptocurrencies in exchange for the decryption key. Cyber criminals that distribute malware are often motivated by money and will use infected computer to launch attacks, obtain banking credentials, collect the information that can be sold and sell access to computing resources or extort payment from victims. Another type of attack is called disruptive attacks. A distributed denial of service or DDoS attack attempts to exhaust an application's resources, making the application unavailable to legitimate users. DDoS attacks can be targeted at any endpoint that is publicly reachable through the internet. Other common threats include coin miners, rootkits, trojans, worms, and exploits and exploit kits root kits intercept and change standard operating system processes after a root kit infected device you can't trust any information that the device reports about itself trojans are a common type of malware which can't spread on their own this means they either have to be downloaded manually or another malware needs to be downloaded and install them these trojan often use same file names so it's easy to accidentally download a trojan thinking that it's a legitimate application a worm is a type of malware that can copy itself and often spreads through a network by exploiting security vulnerabilities it can spread through email attachments text messages file sharing programs social media sites network shares removable drives and software vulnerabilities and these exploits take advantage of vulnerabilities in software a vulnerability is like a hole in your software that malware uses to get into your device these examples are just a few of the threats commonly seen and cybersecurity professionals should have an in-depth understanding of these cyber security threats this is a continually evolving area and new threats emerge all the time companies and government agencies 
need maximum cyber security to protect their data and operations. Understanding how to address the latest and evolving cyber security threats is essential for cyber security professionals. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about encryption, hashing and sign in. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.